What is going on gamers? Today I'm going to be exposing the drama between me and Dream that occurred about a year ago. Um, a lot of you guys probably don't know about this, but Dream actually used to be a very small YouTuber. He just made Let's Plays and um, his channel wasn't all that big. Until he found PewDiePie's Minecraft seed. Now a lot of unfortunate stuff happened because he worked his backside off trying to find this seed. He worked with a huge team of awesome people to find the seed of this Minecraft world. As soon as he released the video, PewDiePie uploads at the same exact time, saying that he would prefer if the seed was kept private just so the game would stay fresh, people wouldn't spoil things, and well, Dream kinda already spilled the beans right before that, literally the same day. Now obviously this upset a lot of people. I personally was kind of annoyed that Dream kept the video up at the time. I don't necessarily agree anymore because well hey it was already leaked someone else would have leaked it already because it was out there for a short amount of time and well everyone knew already. But me I decided to uh, make a video talking about this. I titled it Exposing Dream, basically just saying what I'm saying here. But the difference was I got so much hate, it was ridiculous. I literally had about 300 comments of people just telling me that I should just end it all over this stupid Minecraft drama. All the people were freaking out. They were roasting me in the comment section, straight up getting harassed, murder threats, all that fun stuff over a video talking about Dream doing something PewDiePie didn't want to. I was like, bruh, why you guys gotta hate me like that? So anyways, uh, I got in contact with Dream on Twitter through the DMs because at the time he had a small channel. He was just now beginning to take off. So it was kind of crazy that I was able to contact him over this and now he's like at 5 million subs or something ridiculous. It's just a good reminder to be honest that like anyone could take off in a month and be a massive YouTuber. So if you're a small YouTuber today, just remember, hey, you're just one good idea away from becoming an official YouTuber. Anyways, Dream was really chill about it all, and he actually was very nice and understanding of my perspective, and he made sure that his fans got off my back because I was getting so many DMs, it was kind of scary. But uh, he got things all under control, and that was basically the last time I ever talked to him. And now he has like 5 million subscribers, so you never know who you're talking to these days. Like, my dude had like less subs than me, and I was all upset about this and now my dude has like 5 million subs. It's just a good reminder that anyone you're talking to could be a legend in the making and uh, it's interesting to think about because things could have panned out very differently. I could have been rude with him, he could have been rude with me, but he kept things civil even at a small channel. He was chill, staying true to his current state of character and I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, I, I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while, but I felt like people wouldn't believe me and people would just assume I'm trying to get clout off of this. Personally, I think it's just a good story, a good reminder that anyone could become a YouTuber and that you should treat all the people the same, no matter if they have a massive channel or a tiny channel. Anyways, thank you guys for checking this video out. My name's Premium Aphid, but this is my second channel called Aphid. Just decided to make a video on this today, and I'll see you guys later.